All right, so I'm going to give you my, my post-game thoughts here of Kansas City going to their third Super Bowl in a row. And Kansas City having the opportunity to win back-to-back -back Super Bowls, something that hasn't been done in about 20 years, and that literally Pat Mahomes could have his third Super Bowl championship um, in before he's 30 years of age. Pat Mahomes is the best quarterback in football. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. There's Pat Mahomes, and then there's everybody else. And I am not going to, to say that that's not the case. But I'm going to also say, because we have everybody out here saying that, you know, that, uh, you know, Dak sucks, Lamar Jackson choked, and this, that, and the other. But what I'm going to say is, is this. I want you to understand, if you are a Dallas Cowboy fan, and if you honestly watch this game, that not all the credit needs to go go has to go to Lamar excuse me has to go to Pat Mahomes because what you saw here you saw Pacheco who was able to run I think for about I haven't seen the final numbers but I believe 70 80 yards and picking up very big first downs key first downs the Cowboys don't have a running attack like that they don't Kansas City offensive line they definitely help keep Pat Mahomes upright. He did take a couple of shots and stuff in there, but for the most part, he had time to throw. Travis Kelsey, that boy, that boy is good. I don't know what Taylor Swift is getting, the way she's throwing it at him or what, but he is just a totally different type of weapon. He is so big that it's like the cornerbacks are having to climb him to even get close to the football. But the defense of the Kansas City Chiefs. I want you to understand that the Kansas City Chiefs took Lamar Jackson and basically took his running ability away. There was one play that Lamar Jackson must have run 75 yards and only picked up five. And with Lamar Jackson having a fumble, a strip sack, because I'm gonna say they scored 17 points is all Kansas City scored. Seven of it was because Lamar Jackson got strip sacked on the 21 yard line. Easy pickings right there. If the Kansas City Chiefs defense does not force the fumble on the one yard line, the Ravens get a touchdown. That's enough points to have the score tied right there. Those two turnovers right there are a 14 point swing. And if Lamar Jackson doesn't try and throw into triple coverage there and Kansas City gets the interception, and prevents them from getting at least a field goal. That's another three points. Great game by Pat Mahomes. Especially, the, the, they, they had the Wavels play. I mean, the big Wavels, okay? We're talking like ostrich Wavels. Um, with the game going down the wire, third down, and they go deep down the field and get the first down. Pat Mahomes, different creature. But he did not win this game alone. And this is what's missing. You can say, if we only had Pat Mahomes, here's the thing. Pat Mahomes, they only scored 17 points with three turnovers. Three takeaways. They only scored 17 points. And that was with a great running attack that they had today. That was with an offensive line that did damage. And that's three takeaways. The whole team matters. You can call me a Dak Prescott fan, but you could have put Pat Mahomes on this team when we lost to Green Bay, and with the handicaps that we had, I don't know that he's winning that game either. Maybe he does, but it ain't going to be easy. It ain't going to be the difference of us going to a Super Bowl championship if everybody else is playing the way we did in that game. I don't understand why we play like ass-ass when it comes to playoffs. I don't understand that. But you saw two teams right there that looked like they were playing for their lives, depending on it. We just sucked up. We just stunk all the way around. From Dak, to Tony Pollard, to C.D. Lamb, to Micah Parsons and D-Law, there was nobody on our team that looked like they, they were anywhere near that level. Shout out to Kansas City. They got the win, and that is a great team. A great team and a great defense. And at this time of year, that's what you got to have. Um, the Cowboys, they got a lot of work to do. The Eagles, <laughs> bro, 
I, I know y'all are excited that you, you feel like you got the missing piece. You got a piece of something, all right, with, with Kellen Moore. You got a piece of something. Good luck with that one. Pollard is dating Dak. Tony Pollard is dating Dak. Some players just don't thrive under pressure. Mahomes is Dallas to the Super Bowl. Go Cowboys, I mean Lions. Uh, why are we talking Cowboys? Give Kansas City their moment. I'm just pointing out. what Because here, uh, Termin Mr. Terminator, what you have to do is you have to get as much knowledge as possible to try and make better choices. Take a look at the team that's going there year after year that's constantly good, that's not having letdowns. You need to figure out the things that they're doing and try and see if you can replicate them. So that's why I'm saying the things that they have, you want to have. And no better time than in the present while they're actually doing it to be in real time so you remember, listen, we need a running game. We need a running game. We need our offensive line to be able to stop people. We need a defensive front that can stop people. We need linebackers that can tackle and drive people backwards. We need a lot of things. That's all I'm saying. Explain that again, Mark, using those nuggies. Nuggies? Well, I, I don't get that. Um, is Kelsey kissing on your woman? So cool it. Okay. Um, this is Dallas Cowboys chat room. Duh. Yeah, that's right, Ten Man. I, you know, I, sometimes, sometimes I get people that come in here and it's just like, read the room. Read the room and understand, I am a Dallas Cowboy content creator. Cowboys for life. And I've got a Cowboys life sentence. Okay? I'm going to talk Cowboys. Dak is him. Give him a team like Mahomes. You need a better quarter. Uh, you know what, 49er fan? You better not lose. You guys better not lose. That's all I better That's all I'm going to say. Uh, T. John 1980? How about this? Don't come in here and tell me what I can do. Because we know what will happen to you, bro. We say, bye, Felicia. How about that one? Because I don't remember asking you. Damn trolls. How about that? Mark, we're clearly not a championship team. We're looking at today's game and what is coming up. And what you just listed off is true. And that's the thing, Timothy. That what I'm trying to say is, I'm not trying to say that Dak Prescott is the greatest quarterback and you have to have him. But he is good enough if you have a team. And you have to look at this and say, you don't look at Kansas City and say, that's not a complete team in comparison to where we are. It's just not. They wrangled Lamar Jackson and crew. They shut him down. He's probably going to be the league MVP, and they shut him down to 10 points and forced three turnovers. If you get that and you've got a running game, checkmate. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And, you know, like you, okay, and, and John Connor, yeah, you're right. Odell Beckham Jr. looks like he's done. But this is the problem for the Cowboys. You'll remember, they've got us so trained that we were excited about the possibility of bringing back Odell Beckham Jr., who hadn't played for, you know, over a year, coming back from an ACL. That's the guy that wanted to get, like, $20 million from us a year on a long-term deal. And we were excited about the possibility. We wooed that guy who was literally on one leg and wasn't able to play. And if that doesn't tell you where the Dallas Cowboys mentality is, we're signing a name player that's going to put fans in the stands and not necessarily help us to win. You bring in Odell Beckham Jr., that was bringing in the circus. And that's the kind of moves that the Cowboys make instead of kinds of moves that win championships. Dak is fine. I'm not worried. Window is still open. Peace.